Photoshop interface and basics. Hello, this is a beginner tutorial on Photoshop CS6. In this video, we are basically going to show you the user interface in some of the basic tools to get started. So, you first open up Photoshop. More or less, it probably is going to be really similar to what I have here. So, when you first open it, you will see that you have your standard menus like File, Edit and obviously from the File menu you are going to have all these options for Open, Save and things of that nature. Edit, uh, you are going to have some other options that are particularly obviously for Photoshop and uh, here are some of the layer options. Basically, first I have to start a new document. Now for this area, some of the options that are going to appear up here, when you saw some of the tools here, you are going to get some different options available to you up here. Now what is this area? These are the tools that you have available within Photoshop. Some of the special keys like the brushes and many of the tools you are going to use a lot doing Photoshop. So in this area we have some of the process, color and swatches which are not too difficult to understand. Here we have some of the adjustments. We are going to go over those later with the styles as well. So here we have the layers. When you create layers, these are going to be arranged up here. Those have the channels and paths and these are slightly more advanced options here. First thing we can see is that we have something here. We say these are essentials. So basically this is the essential workspace. All the windows are arranged. Mainly this is the default state. If you go to window, you have a little more options available to you. These are some of the display, properties and tools. So if you click brush, it would be this up. If you close that, you'll be clicking this arrow. So one thing that you can do within Photoshop is that you can arrange or have the replacement of almost all those options here. Say you want to move your tools somewhere else. We can just grab there and place them here. These have been floating perhaps. We can also bring them maybe if you see that blue line there that means that you can basically place it there or maybe there or you may here. So you basically can move all those options wherever you really want to. So if you want this to be at this side you can even take this out and may put it to be here. So you have the options to move things around and as you place them wherever you think that you want them to be. For more convenient workspace, if you prefer, say you have everything out here and it looks like a mess right now and you really want to go back to everything in default state. So if you go back here, which is essentials, you can either save this workspace if you like, the way these things are arranged. You can set save new workspace and you can just give a name. And you can decide if you want to save the keyboard shortcuts, if you created any or if you have different items in different menus, you can save that. See that now it says workspace up here. That is your particular workspace. 
So if you go back to essentials, you are going to see the same basically because when you are moving things around, we are basically in the essential workspace. So if you want to get everything back to its default state, you can go here and reset the essentials. And you can see that everything goes back to normal. And obviously, if you want to go back to the previous workspace that is saved, you can click here and you can go back to that mess that you created. So these are the basics of the workspace that you can use within Photoshop and how you can create some of your own always. You can always go back to the essentials. And there are also a few presets here. You can try if you like those presets. So let's get started into creating a new document. So you go to file. You can either open or select new. When you open, you can open basically an image any image really so open it and it's going to appear here or you can also go to new and get this window and you got few presets available here within Photoshop you can always change the size pixel of this or any other options here you can change the width and height, resolution and all these other options here. If you want to get the background to be transparent or have color, you can do that. So now we have a new workspace, I mean new document now we can work with. Now by default we created that by 2048 pixels. So that's going to be background here which is basically a layer now if you want to create a layer you have the icon here so just create new layer it's also available within the layers option if you click new layers here is also the keyboard shortcut for it I prefer to use this icon here this is the way to get new layers you get this empty layer now the eyeball here is if you want to see those layers now we have transparent because that's the layer we have selected here now if you want to rename the layer just click on the name and just name it make sure you double click on the name sometimes if you just double click on the layer you'll get this layer style which is something different. We can get two layers. So sometimes you may want to move one of those layers below the other one. But if you see here that for some reason it's not letting you move this layer below the background layer. Now that is because this layer has been locked. No more you start a new document the background layer is no more going to be locked. So if you want to move this layer below the background layer, what you can do is if you click and hold on and let the mouse click on the lock icon there, you can throw it here in the trash can. Now the layer is no longer locked. So you can move our new layer below it as you wish. So these are the basics of creating layers. Just click in to create new layers and you can name them as you please. Now if you play around with some of those tools and see what they do, I think that's the easiest way of learning and there is no way you are going to mess something up. I mean you can always close it and get back again. So that was the lesson on Photoshop interface and basics. Thank you.